So let's say you have an old laptop such as this one right here and you want to run YouTube on it at full speed and not like a 160p quality. Well, even with this old laptop with one gigabyte of RAM, an Intel Atom 32-bit processor and a low-end GPU, like that was low-end when it came out 10 years ago. Think of how much more low-end it is now. Like, a laptop like this can run YouTube videos at full speed and quality with the audio and video aligned at 720p, which is pretty good for this laptop or any old laptop using Linux. Linux is such an amazing operating system, I know, right? And, well, it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's definitely worth it. And I'm going to show you how to set it up on your old laptop so you can watch YouTube on just about any laptop. Now, we're going to be using a software called SMTube. Now, some of you might be saying, Oh, Debian comes like pre-installed with that package and it's on the software store. Why is it such a hassle? Here's why. Because those are the old versions. They haven't put the new version up on the repositories yet. So you have to go and get the packages and one other dependency online. Like download the deb packages from the internet and install them using the, D the GW package installer. We're just gonna get SMTube and one dependency, YouTube hyphen DL, YouTube DL. And we're just gonna download those two packages and install them. And then we're going to configure SMTube accordingly. Now it may not work right out of the box. You may need to tweak a few things, but you will get it working. I pretty much guarantee that. So in this tutorial, I am going to be using Debian on the Acer Aspire 1. So something you might notice about Debian LX Qt if you use it is that it already has SMTube, but it doesn't work. So watch, for example, if I go into SMTube and try to play something, now of course it will show up the videos. And when you click on it, it's going to give you an error similar to this one. And that's what we're going to fix. If you don't already have SMTube installed, you can just skip to the next chapter. But if you do have it installed, you're going to type in sudo app remove SMTube. Alright. Yes, we would like to continue. So we're gonna uninstall SMTube and then we're also gonna uninstall YouTube DL. And then we're going to install those two packages straight from the online repository. You do not get them from your official repository. They are outdated. You'll have to get them straight from the internet. Trust me, I know. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to do sudo apt remove YouTube DL. And it will remove that. Alright, now that that's done, if you do not already have GW package installer installed, we're going to install it. And a lot of installs there sudo apt install gdeb my bad so while it's installing the gdeb package installer we're going to go down to firefox here all right and we are going to type in sm2 that's all we're going to type in and then we are just going to go to the first link the very first link And we're just gonna click that. All right, here we are. We're going to scroll down 
where it says Ubuntu, but it does have these commands here. Do not paste those in the Now, down here where it says packages for other Linux distros, Debian and Ubuntu, you're just going to click this link right here. And it should take us to OpenSUSE.com. Okay, we are here. Now, since... So we can probably select Debian or Ubuntu, depending on which one you're using. I'm using Debian, so I'm gonna select that one. So yeah, I'm using Debian 10, so I will scroll down to Debian 10, and this is a 32-bit computer, so I will get the i386 package. So AMD64 is 64-bit, and i386 is 32-bit. So yeah. So we're gonna do save file First loop, we're gonna click that here we are now we are going to just go down here and we can just select one of these mirrors. All right, so once you've selected a mirror, you can just click save file, okay. Now let's see, if, so GW is done installing. So we can just close that out. Let's double check, see if we can find it. There we go, GW package installer. So it is installed. And both of these files are downloaded. Those are the only files we need, so now, we're just going to go to our file manager. Here we go. And we can just go to downloads. And the first one we're going to open is YouTube DL. All right, this one. So we're going to open with GW package installer. And it will tell you this, an older version is available in a software channel. That's exactly why we're getting it straight from the internet because this one is old. The one in the software channel is old, so you're gonna click. Um, you're just gonna click close and do install it anyway. You're just gonna click install package. Now the reason we couldn't just install it from the terminal is because, like it just said, the older version is in the repositories and the new one isn't. So that's why we had to grab it directly from the internet. So then it should install that package. Alright, so it's installing. Alright, when it says installation finished, we're just going to click close. And it will say like reinstall or remove. Just close that out. And now we are going to install SM2. Again, we'll just want to open that with the GDB package installer like I just did. And it will load the package up for us to install. And again, it will say an older version is available in a software channel. You're just going to click close because again, that's why we got it straight from the internet because it's the newer version. The older version doesn't work. So we're just going to install this. And then you'll just let it install that package. Alright, so now it is installed. So you can just click close, close that out, and close that out. We can even close out this web browser. So now if we go down here to sound and video, SM2. It should come up now. So I clicked this video and it may just sit there for like a couple seconds, that's fine. Just like it normally would take to load on YouTube, but the only difference is that 
once it actually loads up the video it will actually play it at full speed if you have the settings configured correctly which I'll get to that but as you can see there it's playing but that resolution is like So as you can tell, sorry, let me mute myself. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if that's like the best player. It's playing it kind of slowly. So what we'll do is we will go to the settings, players, and we'll move SM player. I want it to see if it will do it with SM player. Now we'll try it again. Why is my old video up there? Don't watch that, whatever you do, guys. Don't watch it. <laughs> okay. So it says unable to locate the URL of the video. So it looks like SM player doesn't work. Let's see what other players I have on there. Nope. That's it. So yes, while it may have been a little bit more of a hassle than normally installing apps on Linux may be, it is working. We got this old computer with one gigabyte of RAM, a 32-bit Intel Atom processor, and like a pretty crappy GPU. This was like low end when it came out 10 years ago. And my point is, and it is playing a YouTube video at 720p quality, perfectly lined up with the sound in the video at full speed on this super old low spec computer. So that's just something amazing. Well, it may have taken a while to set up. It's definitely worth it. I'm happy with what I got running on it. I actually, it, I'm actually getting much more out of this than I would have expected. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys out with your um, old computers that you want to watch YouTube on and Thank you so much. We'll see you next time